Hey everybody, it's a quick little follow-up video to my video review of the Duracell 2650 mAh batteries. These batteries here, these two batteries here, I just charged yesterday, and they sat for one day. And just to get an idea of how fast they discharge, I decided to throw them back on the charger to see how much they would take. And of course, it's not always recommended to top off batteries like this, but let's have a look here. Both these batteries took between a neighborhood of 370 to 390 milliamp hours to charge back up. Now, these batteries here, um, I did manage to get 3 amp hours out of some of them. And it might be these here, I'm not sure. 3,000 3, milliamp hours. And and to lose more or less this much in a day's time it's really sad it's really really sad now like I say if you charge these things right up and use them right then they're great you suck you can't kill them after charging up a set of these batteries I immediately threw them into my camera and took it to my uncle's place we had a family get together and I took a junk load of pictures and I never had any issues at all with low batteries in my camera but like I say, you give it a few, give it a few days, and they'll be completely dead. And also, just a little update on the information that I mentioned in the review itself. I mentioned that putting batteries in a colder environment can help slow down the discharge rate. Well, in some cases, if you get them really too cold, batteries won't like that at all. So, I mean, the information in the previous video was information I read off the internet. And a buddy of mine who's highly experienced with batteries told me that when you expose batteries to really cold environments, they don't really seem to appreciate it. It's the same as you expose them to hot environments. Anyways, that's just a quick little bit of information about these batteries. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask.